Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today we're in a KFC, as you can see. And um, today I, I want to go over a lick. Um, I know I went over this one already, and I'll link that if you haven't seen that one yet. But uh, there's one I wanted to do when you get on the one. So here, I'll just show you really quickly. So we're on the one, really easy. Something like that. Just something you can do on your, you know, your talk music or however you want to use it. So I'll show you guys that today. And uh, we'll do it in the key of C. And um, yeah, so uh, do me a favor, you guys, go in the comments, um, put down what you want me to go over. Um, I got some material that I like to show you guys, but I like for you guys to let me know what you want to hear. And um, yeah, I, I really appreciate that. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started here. So um, so this is more just for like talk music, really. So you know, you're just pretty much shedding at this point. But um, all it is is um, you're on the C, and on the bass you're just holding that down. Now we're on D. It's like a diminish. Back to C. Then we go B major chord over E flat. And uh, we'll break this down. I'm just giving a basic idea of how it is. B7. 2. 5. 1. Okay. One more time. However you get to the 1, but once you're on the 1, you can do your 1. C major. D major over C. Okay. A little diminish. Let's make C major. B over E flat, B7 over E flat, 2, D minor, F over G, 5, 1, okay, and um, I don't know, um, like I said, I, I did a video already on on this here, I, I'll, I'm going to link that one so you can put them together. C here. Close drop. Okay. There's our C. And uh, while we're just holding that bass note down, we're just basically just chording or padding on top of that bass note, which is C here. So we're doing Okay. So that's just the first part of it. C. And you're not just pushing the chords, right? You just, I mean, yeah, essentially, you're just pushing the chord. But when you're on an organ, you want to kind of pad. All that is just C major. You could do something like that, or maybe something like that. Just give it some, put something on it. D major. Okay, you see that? that? I'm not really doing anything. I'm just... Okay. 
So let me go ahead and uh, show you that one more time. So when you get to your one, you know, during your talk music, however you get there, you can do this. Okay. So left hand. We're doing this inversion of C. So we start with E, C, I'm sorry, G, C, and E. Okay. That's the first one. Second one is D over C. Let me just bring something out here. Not too dark. So we have our D major. This inversion is F sharp, uh, G flat rather, A, D. And that's still over C. And then the last one here before we go back to our root chord is um, F, A flat. D, still over C, and then we back home, okay, C major chord, this particular version, E, G, C, okay, it's so simple, but when you, when you start padding and just kind of pentatonics or whatever you want to call them, just, you know, it, it gives it a different feeling, you know what I mean, you'll have to play with it and you'll, you'll understand. Um, so from there, so we got our C, C, D, call it a, you know, an F, um, diminish, then back to C, okay? And all that's just on your C base, okay? So that part's easy, um, it's all really easy, okay? And again, all I was doing with the right hand... Okay, E, F, E, D, that's all that is. D major, D major chords. And I'm just spelling out the diminished chord. Okay, that's all it is. And it's just simple stuff like that, that what makes you sound seasoned, you know what I mean? Okay, now the next part of it goes... Um, I have a habit of turning that on. Sorry about that. And we next part goes into a B major chord. So, um, actually, we can just go straight into like the B seven. I normally do, but you can do. So we'll do it like that. Okay. So the chord spelled out is A. B, E flat, F sharp, or G flat, and B. Okay. So. And then we bring that high B down to A. Still the same chord, same chord, okay? Two, okay, D minor. So, um, you know, when we're on that B, we're holding down this E flat bass, okay? So, E flat bass with B7 on top. So far, reach there. Bring the high B down to A. Our two, two is on D, okay, remember, we're in the key of C, okay. okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, so our two is D, so that's our two, and on that two, we're doing a D minor chord here, so it's D minor, right, because we're on a two, but we bring the two down to the bass note. So we have for the chord F, A, C, E, G over D. Okay, now I have a 251 video um, in the key of C. You can just check that out. It'll break it down a little bit further. Maybe give you some other chords you can try. Okay, 
five. I don't even know what this is called. I'm just gonna be honest with you. So we'll just spell it out. It's over G, which is our five. And the chord spelled out is F, B, and then the E major triad. So E, A flat, B. Two, five, one. And then you can recycle it. You know, this is talk music, so you can do whatever. Give it a little bit. Two, five, one. All right, everybody, that's all I got. And I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. Thumbs up, subscribe, check out the TikTok, YouTube shorts, and um, the website, all that jazz. Uh, again, please do some comments for me. I need some ideas. Um, I need to know what you guys want to hear from me. Do you want me to break down chords? Uh, break down songs rather and um, you know choir songs I saw an idea for that but um, you know be specific give me some actual songs chords or songs whatever and um, yeah that's it and uh, you guys take care